welcome back to Qantas on the FTO Juice server. In the last episode, we covered off some life hacks and done some updates on previous mods I've covered. And I was going to do a project, but it took a little longer than I thought. So, in this episode, we're going to do a bit of a minecart upgrade. So, let's get started. So back here at the spawn track start point, and I was thinking with it being so easy to get minecarts or well, iron now, there's really no need to have a BYO minecart uh, station here. So what I thought I would do is let's just move this over a little bit, is make a similar track design to a vanilla launcher, uh, but with a modded twist to it. So, um, one thing we'll need to do is place, this is the launcher part, which will probably be the more difficult bit of it all. And I have in my inventory here, um, if we look at, uh, let's look up dispenser. Now, Normally, you would use a normal dispenser from Minecraft, from vanilla. However, it doesn't work properly in this pack because we have Railcrafts installed. So, but we do have the cart dispenser, and it's one of those textures. It doesn't have a thing again, um, which is not too hard to make. It's just a dispenser, so we've already, already made one of those, plus a minecart. Um, and we'll make one of those, which, of course, you can't see. It's really helpful. I should hopefully be able to place that. I don't know why I took that out. Um, place it here, hopefully. Um, the nice grey texture for no reason at all. And if we place that there, now of course we can just use a cart. Nice and easy. Um, let's put a cart on there for testing purposes. And I think I've got a button here, I do. Now, I prefer not to have the cart run away on me. So I'm just going to take out that guy for now. Uh, so what should happen though in this case, if we put the button on there, do that, it'll just sense the cart. And oddly, it didn't actually send the signal through to the track. So, that's the easy part. So this will be the departure part, and later on I'll get to building something around this big structure so it's um, not as ugly, um, because this is going to get quite messy very quickly, um, and I'd like to hide all of the redstone that runs behind here. So, um, we've got the departure point, which is reasonably good. What I was thinking we could do though, um, let's go back into the crafting table, and there's a block update detector from Super Circuit Maker, which is just a piston and a block of redstone. I do have some redstone, I may not have enough redstone to do what I want, but that's fine. Let's go into there, make one of those, piston. And a block of redstone makes a block update detector. And I actually need some string too, which I'll have to get in a second. So we'll put this probably here. No, it needs the other way. You can tell with these guys here when they're facing the right way or not. Take that out as well. Um, if you place them down, you should see that the arrow faces towards where the redstone will come out. Um, there's also a little red thing you saw when I placed it, so we need to take that out. Little redstone, little redstone piece here, and that's where the redstone signal will pop out, and this is the piece it will be detecting. So any updates to blocks on the block facing to this will be um, 
will emit a redstone signal. And the other thing I need to do is I want to use a piece of string. I can't think of any other way of getting a block update to work. Um, but I don't have any string on me, so let me go get some string and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I've got some string and I've moved this a long one because I want this to be a little bit more of a run up. Uh, let's grab our string, we place it here. And now what will happen is we'll just let's run a quick redstone line around here. And you can't place redstone on a tree, on leaves. Let's grab some dirt. Place it there. Right around there. And now you'll see when you run into that, you can see it, it will pick up that the string has been moved or touched. Um, similar to the tripwire trick, but you don't need a tripwire on both sides. Um, and this will actually fire on both sides. So we do need to make it a little more versatile, or we'll depart, uh, we'll send too much out. But let's um, run a line. What we need to do is run a line down here. Um, oh, it's a big thing there, I could use that. <coughs> Run that into here, and I also have my inventory. Uh, let's look for our repeaters. Because one of the things that I've, I did notice with it is that it's quite a slow actual um, sorry, it's quite a quick signal. It like it, it's instant. Uh, so what will happen, of course, is it only powers the track for a few seconds, or a few a milliseconds, even maybe a tick. So, of course, we need to set this guy here to, or we need to set up a signal. Yeah, we need to set up, set up a signal so that the track is powered for much longer. Uh, the best way, of course, doing that will be... I'm not sure if I should do it down here or not. Um, let's take these guys out for now. Uh, so we're going to set up a very quick little uh, redstone circuit here. Which will power this guy, so we need to run it down probably under here. Uh, can we do that? No, it needs to be the... Um, so, if we run... We need to run this along here. Like that. And then that can go along to there. And so I'm going to have a building in here at some point, so... Yeah, I thought that might be the case. That's fine. We can work around that. Place that there. And if we go over to here, you'll notice that there's a very... You can see that the signal goes twice, but it's very quick. Okay, so we need to make some repeaters. We need some torches. Let's make a whole bunch of them for now. Now, you probably notice that when you put redstone in there, you get this tiny pile of redstone from Super Circuit, uh, Super Circuit Maker as well. I haven't had a big play with that mod, and the one time I was trying to test this out, I managed to crash my world. So I'm not going to do that just yet. Um, I was making a repeater. One. I'm going to need more, I think. Uh, stone along there. Oh, what have I forgotten? Where's stone in the middle? It gives us two of those. Stick the one down here to stop it repeating, facing that way. Just 
Oh, it was around four ticks. Um, maybe four ticks now. Oh, it does maybe four ticks. Just need one tick. Uh, one there and one there. Apparently, I did not make enough. So we need to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of those. And then half. It's half. Thank you. Um, and then some stone. Make some nice collection of repeaters. Where'd that go there? Um, so we've got one there as well, and it looks like it's turning dark again, so let's just sleep. Okay. So, now we've got four, uh, three repeaters in there, so that one's on... Let's set that to one tick. This is the two ticks, and that the three ticks. And that'll give us three ticks for the powering of the um, rail over here. So when we do that, it'll now stay longer. Stay on longer, hopefully it will turn off. Uh, ah. I didn't expect that. Let's put that there. We'll stop that firing. Let's try that again. So, as you can see, it still powers. Cool. And what that will mean is when we go into here, quite a bit of chat going on. You probably, if you're like me and you're watching your videos, you like to read what's going on in the chat. Um, I'm not quite sure what's going on, but there's a few people on it. Right? If we sit here, you'll see now that it will actually fire and send us off, which is exactly what we want. So that's the launcher part done. But of course, the next problem we've got is that it won't automatically place. It doesn't... Um, we want to have a, a cart here at all times. So the next thing we want to do is make another redstone circuit. We've got this guy here. Uh, we could probably run it. Yeah, how am I going to do this? <laughs> That's going to there. Take that out. Take that out. And we'll just make a bit of a, oops, a bit more redstone out than I should have. Place that into. Don't need more track on it. Place it there, then we'll run a circuit down here, which will go into. So we're heading towards. Where are we heading towards? We've got to low down, aren't we? Heading towards the sky. Um, there, I think. There he is. Um, so I'm going to have to. I want to repeat this around, so let's put that. Work out if I break that, what happens? There's a piece of redstone that breaks if I do that, so I don't really want to take that out. Um, I could take out that piece there, I think. That one there, and that one there. We'll run repeat it that way on four ticks because we need to have a delay on it. We want one there, one there. Um, in fact, this should be perfect now. Let's put a piece of that there. I need to... Can't take that out. That's... Making it a little complicated. That's fine. Um, place that there on four ticks. Place this one here on four ticks. And if we place this one here on four ticks as well, now what will happen is, so four, eight, about 16 ticks later, the 
um, the dispenser here will fire. So if we place it into there, actually we need to make another one of those. Um, let's make another cart. Okay, let's make a few carts because we're going to need some more. One, two, three. One, two, three. That should be perfect. I can't stick. I can only stick them in the freeze. Place them into here. Like that. And now, of course, if we trigger that, a card should appear. Trigger it again. That card will be sent off. And then a few seconds later, or a few moments later, it'll place another card there. So there'll always be a card here available. So that's the launcher part. Um, let's just put this back here. And now over here, I want to do something a little bit different again. Uh, let's run a track down. Like this. And I want to place a piece of sand there. Be repeat. Uh, and we'll put a cactus on that, which will break the cart up. That's not a cactus. Oh, we need to break there, there, and there. Like that. Place something on top of that. I'm thinking. a slab for now. And we need to place a hopper down here. I have a hopper, uh, and we want to go, yep, that should be fine if we head that way, place a thing on there, and then we'll go down over here, take out a small run along here, hmm, Okay, that's not going to work quite as well as I'd like. Well, actually, that was a bit too long anyway, wasn't it? So let's make that. Let's make that go to there. That's a redstone. That gold. Is it just because it's a lot more compact than I was going for? Thanks for that. What's that grass block holding up? That's here, okay. Uh, that there on four ticks. Um, well, that should actually work, because it should power that, which will power that, which will hopefully power that. Let's give it a try and see what happens. Um, okay, I'll take this cable, this crack again. Okay, that still works. Try it again. Yep, works perfectly. Cool. Okay. No, we'll leave that there. We need that. Um, so what we're doing here is I wanted to... The reason why I had to move that was because I want to run a... a basically a, a item into there because of course we're going to collect up the items from here and they need to run along here so let's hope that digging down is not going to be dangerous right, cool run in along here oh okay Take that out. Sleep again. And what I was thinking of running were, was from hopper ducks. Now hopper ducks are reasonably easy to make. 
uh, if you look at the recipe, they're just iron around a piece of plank, and you get four of them. So in this case, I've made up eight. I'll run those along here. And they will automatically connect up. So this, well, they're very similar to a hopper, except they won't pull items out from above, which in this case won't be a problem, but they will go, they also go up in direction. And they have one slot available. So what we're going to do is we're going to run that along here. As you can see, they want to connect up. And they'll connect it to this hopper. So this hopper here has five slots. The hopper duct has one slot. And of course, they will run along here. They won't connect up. They won't take anything out of the top there. Let's run a dirt along there. And then we want to come along here. And hopefully, oh, I, it appears I went too far. Grab that. And that. And we will run. We need to make sure the only thing to be aware of is when you place them, you need to, much like a hopper, you need to be facing in the direction of the thing you want to connect to. So in this case, we want to connect to the cart dispenser. I don't want to open it, I want to place it. So I hold down my sneak key. And then I just need to run these along in that direction. So now. So we're running low on those, but if we go up to here and we run some carts down, they should break, yes, and they should end up in here. Or they won't. Ah, there we go, this one here is in the wrong way. Let's place that there. So that one there goes into there, into there. Now, ah, uh -uh. Place that like that. It's broken. And ends up in there. Okay. I'm not quite sure what's happening there. We're breaking it in up here. So what we might actually do. Just to make sure that it will always pick them up. Let's place two of those. Make ourselves a chest. Chest. Then two of those, two of those, two of those, makes another hopper, stick the hopper down underneath here. Facing into the other hopper, just as a precaution. And then place the track onto here. Hopefully, that'll work every time. Let's just grab our minecarts for testing purposes. Drop it there. One, two, three. And now, hopefully, all three of them have ended up in here. They have to. Cool. Back got four in there now. now. I've got another two, so let's just throw those in as well. One, two. Awesome. And of course, what we can do on top of that is to hide this out a little bit more. We, can, we should be able to put. Um, let's go one of these carts and just test this theory. So we should be able to put that there. Place this over here. Let's go for a ride. Okay. 
it seemed to do what I want. Uh, let's just grab some dirt and cover that in so we don't end up spawning directly in there. Now, in theory, um, in theory, if we place slabs or covers along here, we will be able to, when they hop out of here, it'll actually spawn you on top of the slabs. Um, so let's just add some of those in. Like that, like that, like that. I don't think it will work if I put it there. Grab another hopper or two. Place them here. Mm, okay, so that didn't work. I had a funny feeling it wasn't going to work. Place it there though, that's fine. There it goes. Should break and return into there. If we then run over to here, and we'll hop on it this time. Okay, it wasn't quite what I was expecting either. Um, but that's pretty much the whole system built. I need to pretty up a little bit and I'll probably replace these out for covers and then I can build something around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start that off uh, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what, what I've done for the platform system here. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so there you go. Now, of course, um, I've had to make a couple of small changes to get the work in all cases, but but it always ends up that you end up on this little platform here, uh, which is quite cool because you don't see the the any of the inner workings down there, and we can hide most of this off into a separate little area. Uh, so, a few changes I made is I've moved the drop down one. So it used to come in there was a dirt block here and it would drop down to there. Uh, it's now, uh, we can actually cover, I'm just looking at that thing, I should cover that up. Let's place it there. Um, so now you come down here, you drop instantly into here, and that just gives a little bit extra time to fall in. Something else I noticed when I was testing is I had to extend the ticks by one. So as you can see, there's now four of these, just extending the delay. Because what was happening is being a minecart dispenser under here, it was still every now and then getting a double pulse uh, from the when you went into it and then when you went out. So that the minecart d dispenser would put it out and it would suck it back in, which wasn't ideal for what we wanted at all. Okay. So that gives us a automatic launcher. It's no longer a BYO cart on at least this side. Uh, I'll probably end up joining the other side up to the main station, which they're currently working on, which will provide carts anyway. So I won't need a similar system on that end. Um, what I'll do probably between episodes is I'll tie this area up and I will add in some a, a building here, uh, so it's not quite as raw. And you can't see everything, and plus you can find it easily from when you're coming in via boat. But I'm going to end the episode here. If you've enjoyed the video or learnt anything from it, please do hit that like button. If you've got any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave a comment down below. But otherwise, have a great day, and see ya!